In this lesson, we're going to create a report for the suppliers. And the report we're going to create will look something like this. OK, let's get started. We'll begin by clicking on the Create tab. And we'll go to the Report Wizard in this lesson. In the first step of the Report Wizard, you need to choose the Suppliers table. We're going to add specific fields to our report, starting with Supplier Name. First name, last name, job title. Then we want email address and then we want phone number. Next. We're not going to apply any grouping to our report. So next. But we do want the suppliers in ascending order of supplier name. Next. The layout we're going to go for in this report is tabular because we just want a simple table. Because we have quite a few columns, we're going to go for landscape orientation. And I have this option down here, adjust the field width so all fields fit on a page. Next, I'm going to name the report. So report suppliers. And I want to preview the report, so I'm going to finish. And it does a pretty good job of creating the report for me. But I'm going to tidy it up a little bit. Close Print Preview. In the report header, I'm going to delete the default heading. And I'm going to insert the Camera Off logo. Design tab on your ribbon. Insert image. Camera Off logo. We'll put it here. I'm also going to add a label. That's from the Label button in the Controls group. And the label for this report is supplier list. Bit of formatting, so format tab on my ribbon. Make the text bold, change it to black. Change the font size to 12. Make the little label box a little bit bigger. So let's move that up there a little bit. I'll drag the page header divider up. And the last thing I need to do on the header is to change the background color. So still on the Format tab, go to the Background Color drop down and choose Automatic. Let's deal with the page headers now. I'm going to select them all, holding down Shift. Format tab on my ribbon. I'm changing the font color to black. I'm going to make the headings bold. What I'm also going to do in the header is add a little line. So I'm drawing down the detail divider there, just dragging it down. Design tab on my ribbon. In the controls group, I choose the line control. And remember to hold down shift to draw a straight line. Straight across the report. And then I'm gonna move it up with my up arrow on my keyboard. And then I'll drag that detail divider up a little bit. And now I'm just going to preview how the report will look. So on the view menu, report view. And there we are, there's my line. Pretty happy with all the column headings. And I'm pretty happy with the report header. Back to design view. One problem I did notice was with the alignment of the email address field. I'm going to make that left aligned. So format tab on my ribbon, left aligned. I've also got to do that for job title. Format tab again, left align. And that gets all the alignment sorted out. Got a bit of a problem here. The email field is not wide enough. So design view. Now what I'm going to do is reduce the width of some of these fields. I've selected, holding down shift, both the first name label and the field. I'm just going to reduce the width. Same with last name. Just reduce the width a bit and then drag over. Same with job title. Drag over a little bit. And then email. Drag over a little bit. And make it a little bit wider. I can see all the email addresses. I think it'd be nice to have a little line underneath the report. Back to design view. And what I'd have to do is to place that line in the page footer. 
I'm going to copy the line that I've got in the page header. So I've selected it there, clicked on it, Control C, down to the page footer, Control V. And there we are, I have both of my lines. And you'll notice also that by default, Access puts the date and the page number in the page footer. I'm going to align some of these elements now. Just going to draw the date in a little bit. And then I'm going to select the date, supplier name field, I'm holding down shift, the supplier name label, and then my two little controls in the report header. I'm going to go to arrange, align, align to the left. Let's see how that looks. Everything's kind of lined up now. Maybe the logo needs moving across a little bit. So click into an empty space, click on the logo. I use the left arrow button on my keyboard, back to full view. You can see that looks a little bit better. One more thing to do, and that's to change the shading on the alternate rows. At the moment it's gray, I want it blue. Back to design view. Click into the details section, select where it says details there, format, alternate row color, and choose a light blue. And there we have it. Something that is worth watching out for is the little green triangle that is appearing up here in design view. It indicates that there's a potential problem with your report. If I go to this warning button, you can see that the report width is greater than the page width. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to reduce the size of both the phone number label and the field. And I might move the page numbering in a little bit as well. And then reduce the width of the report. Now I can see that that little warning is gone. And I can always go back to print preview just to check that things look good. You notice that each time I click on the print preview of the report, it zooms in and out. But when I zoom out, I can see that everything looks fine. I can close the print preview and save the changes to my report. Last thing to do is to give the report a proper caption, design tab on your ribbon, property sheet button, make sure report is selected in this drop down list, format tab, caption property, supplier report. Save again, close down the report, reopen it, and you get that caption appearing in the report tab. In summary, in this lesson, we learned how to create a report by using the report wizard, as opposed to creating the report from scratch using the report design button. The report wizard makes it easier in the initial stages of the report setup. I would like you to create the same report in your version of the database. And once you're done, we'll move on to the next lesson.